Okay, I think you hear back from your video. This is back to one of my first custom ones that's not a figure. Now, if you didn't read the title, this is actually the Battle Wagon. I know it's a while ago, but it's kind of hard to try to make a video about this. Essentially, what this is, this is the Battle Wagon from Season 9. And something I felt that needed a set, but never got one. And from looking at what I built, this would be around $30. And I guess that season nine was meant to take on the sets from <clears throat> Oni Dragon was like two sets from the realm of Njago because I mean to focus on Dragon Hunters is obviously a really good move. I thought that this set would have been a lot cooler than throwing the room showdown. Which honestly is kinda of sad. Also, yes, you may notice that there's a lot of Marvel stuff on the floor right now. Just don't mind that. So anyways, what this is going to be for is that I'm just going to be showing you the battle wagon, like all parts of it and how it works. And I will show you a couple figures that I think would have come in this set that, that I designed had it actually been a set. Now this isn't actually an official set, for the way I just said that sounded kind of weird. But this isn't meant to, to be like a recreation or something that I'm going to do at some point. But rather, this is just my custom of the battle wagon that I think should have been, that I wish was was released. Because honestly, it would have been a really cool set. So the first part is that there's a lot of hinges because it's his tank. And so I need to have a lot of hinges because it's very heavily armored. And so the first one is in the back door. I had to work hard to make sure that it didn't get stuck on certain things. Which happens a lot with my custom builds for some reason. Another one is the primary one which for the back seat. Which this one does get stuck sometimes. And you have to open it up like this. I just put a little sticker down in there because I don't know. And so then on the inside, it's just the inside. And also, the other is a purple piece in there. And I did include two of them just for filler color. Because that was something Lego doesn't. Just made it feel more official to me. And then this is just on there to keep it in. This is only held on by one. And so there's really no way to actually pull it out other than using this really thin handle. So it's kind of hard to open. If I ever rise instead, I'll make it thicker and hopefully get more tread tracks. So I can stop using these ones and use like the actual official treads. Well, these aren't the official treads, but like the newer model treads. Because these ones are kind of stiff. And then the last one is over here. And it's not actually meant to rest on this because the bow wagon actually doesn't have it rest there. But it rests on these poles on the side. And so I had to include this to make sure it was actually fit, big enough to fit a minifigure. Now taking that this, these nine suits do have shoulder pads. And this Nia figure would be a pretty decent example. Just gotta take out the swords. Because those definitely won't fit in here. And so there's the Nia figure. Just gonna put the arms down. And so this is made to set two people on the front. And so you just hit them in there. And then it just kind of sits above their head when you do this. But it still works nonetheless. Like it doesn't really damage the set's integrity. And so it really just doesn't bother the set overall. And I felt it was a good conclusion. Now there are some details that I did include. Just to make it seem more official, one of them was the filler color. Another one is these. And I just used those three technic pieces to make it feel, to, like, to give it some sort of pattern and design to it. I can just be like a blocky build. Another thing I did was make it more arched towards the back. So that it felt like it was like coming up in a sort of shape. And just a couple arch pieces. Another, and then these, I repeated use of these grill pieces because it made it seem like it was a little makeshift. And looking back at it, I wish I didn't make this as symmetrical. But I still know why I made it symmetrical, and I still know why I didn't. And the last thing that wasn't in the TV series is a bunch of white pieces. I had some thin white plates and tiles. And the true reason was because, A, these are, because these are the only wheels I actually have for it. Like here, I just use gears, but you can see held on by some sort of wheel foot needs to function correctly at some point. Those are kind of the treads, and why I want to change the new treads, when, given that I can get more pieces. So I have to push down on them a lot, and make sure that they don't fall off. 
And so, the other reason is that, as a gray build, like, it's kind of like just a repeat of Ninja Tuner car, a set that didn't do too well in reviews because it was gray and kind of bland in color, as compared to a lot of other Ninjago sets. And, well, even a lot of Nassim and sets were gray, that's gonna mean you, you can't really have rock be, like, blue or something. But even they still made, managed to find some color with the lava. And so I just meant, so I just put some in white in there. Because, honestly, it actually gives a nice touch. Like, imagine all pieces being great. I just seem really boring in my opinion. So yeah, that is my custom set. I won't be showing you how to build this. And I cannot put the pieces as a description for the set. Because A, it will probably be too long of a description. And B, I don't want to take this apart. Because there's a good chance I won't be able to rebuild it. So yeah, if I just decide to fully build this, then I will do a, a, a review of my new model. And so yeah, that's that. That is my custom build of the Battle Wagon. Hope you all enjoyed this, and I hope it doesn't look like trash. Thank you for watching. I'll be back for another episode shortly. Hopefully.